Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Carmen with the Cod Auto Group Tech Tips. So we're just taking a look here at a cluster for a Hyundai Kona. We're just gonna take a look at some of these lights, what they mean and uh, what we need to do when we see them on. So just starting from the bottom left, we have this little uh, icon. It looks like a little uh, bulb that's lit up. That's just basically indicating that the daytime running lights are burnt out, one or two of them. Um, so then we just bring it in for service and then we could take a look at it and change any bulbs that need to be changed. Right underneath the heat gauge, we have the immobilizer light. So this is the anti-theft. Um, when it's illuminated, it's just letting the driver know that the car has recognized the key and is ready to start. On the other side of that uh, heat gauge, we have the engine light. Uh, obviously when we see that one come on, uh, it's notifying the driver that there's an issue with the emission system. Basically, when you see this one illuminated, you can just book it in through us for servicing. The vehicle is still able to be driven. However, if this light is flashing, then you're gonna want to have it towed to us and stop driving it immediately as uh, engine damage can occur. Uh, just going up from there, we have the Sport, the Eco. Those are just your drive modes. Um, Eco is meant for highway driving. Sport is meant for city driving. It basically just changes the uh, shift points in the transmission, allowing for better fuel economy and better throttle response. The little green A, the idle stop and go system, when it's illuminated green, it's indicating that the engine is shut off and awaiting for throttle input or brake release input to start the engine and resume driving. When this uh, icon is illuminated amber, it's just simply indicating that not all the uh, conditions are met. Now we're going up to the top here. The traction control off light just indicates to the driver that they have turned off the traction control system. So there will be no assist from the vehicle in terms of um, letting the wheels slip while accelerating. Uh, right below that we have the, right below the traction control off light, we have that car with the squiggly lines. That car with the squiggly lines indicates to the driver that there is slippage happening and the vehicle is preventing the tires from spinning uncontrollably. And right below that, we have a warning indicator. This could be as simple as just low washer fluid or having service due. Basically, if you see this one illuminated, it should have another message pop up on the dash for more information on what the driver is supposed to do. Uh, referring to the owner's manual can give you specific information regarding what each of these lights mean and uh, assist whether or not to bring the vehicle in immediately or book an appointment. So going down to the bottom here, we have the motor-driven power steering light. It's a little steering wheel with an exclamation mark beside it. Uh, when we see this illuminated, it's just stating that there is an issue with the motor-driven power steering system, um, notifying the driver that there is no or limited motor-driven power steering assist. This is something that we would wanna get taken a look at uh, right away. Whether or not the vehicle can be driven should be up to the uh, operator of the vehicle. If you feel it's safe to drive it in the current condition, then drive it. However, if the symptoms are giving you specific dri drivability issues or steering issues, then it would be advised to have the vehicle towed to us immediately. Next to it is the airbag light. If we see this illuminated, it indicates there's an issue with the airbag system. Um, in the event of a crash, the airbags may not deploy and this is a safety concern. We definitely wanna get that taken a look at right away. Next to it is the charging light. The charging light indicates whether or not the alternator is supplying voltage to the battery while the engine is running. Um, if this light is illuminated, there is an inadequate voltage output to the battery. The battery will die uh, very quickly and can leave you stranded on the side of the road. Next to it is the little teapot. Little teapot is the oil pressure indicator. If you see this flickering or illuminated while you're driving, pull over immediately and turn the engine off. Um, lack of oil pressure can cause catastrophic and severe engine damage. Next to the oil pressure indicator, we have the parking brake light. This light is uh, used for two different systems. The parking brake light illuminated indicates that the parking brake is applied 
and if the parking brake is not applied, having that light illuminated indicates low fluid level in the brake fluid reservoir, and the vehicle is not safe to be driven and should be towed to us immediately. Auto hold right next to the low fuel indicator. Auto hold is simply a system that allows the driver to take their foot off the brake when at a stoplight or in a stop situation and will accelerate the vehicle only once the driver is inputted command through the accelerator pedal. The ABS indicator simply notifies the driver that there's an issue with the anti-lock braking system. Um, in the event that this light illuminates, just know that there is no um, anti-lock brake assist. The vehicle will operate on conventional braking system. Um, this issue should be addressed as soon as possible. Feel free to book an appointment. Over to the far right, starting at the top, we have our downhill assist. Downhill assist works at 40 kilometers an hour and below, uh, applying the brakes for the driver when descending down a steep incline. Below that, we have the forward collision warning light. When this light is illuminated, the forward collision warning assist or forward collision warning system is no longer active due to a fault in the system. This should be addressed right away. Below the forward collision warning system, we have our all-wheel drive light. The all-wheel drive light uh, indicates that there's a problem with the all-wheel drive system. In the event that this light is illuminated, there will be no all-wheel drive assist. Feel free to book the vehicle in at a normal service interval for diagnosis. All-wheel drive lock. All-wheel drive lock just indicates to the driver that they have engaged the all-wheel drive uh, system full-time, so the vehicle will have power output to all four wheels. Um, there is no concern when this light is illuminated. However, it is not recommended to operate the vehicle in all wheel drive while driving at highway speeds. Tire pressure monitor, that little tire with the exclamation mark notifies that the driver that there is a low tire. Um, should this light start flashing, it indicates that there is an issue with the tire pressure monitoring system and the vehicle can be brought in for service. Electronic parking brake. In the event that this light is illuminated, the electronic parking brake will no longer operate. Um, there is a fault with the system and should be diagnosed promptly.